vi är på Münchenbryggeriet i Stockholm där musikskolan Rytmus har klinik med rockbandet Deep Purple. Jag står här. Det är inte, ja. Deep Purple, vad säger ni om dem? Är det att du har det? Alltså, det är liksom, det... ja tack, nu kan jag sluta Rytmus. Ja, nu precis. Jag, det räcker nästan. Känns det är det största som Rytmus ja. har haft och att vi får vara här och gå på skolan när det händer. Ja, och, får och sen får vi sjunga med. med dem, det är ändå... Det är otroligt. Det är obeskrivet. Ah. Det finns inte egentligen. Riktigt drag blev det när bandet plockade upp två elever på scenen och drog klassiken Smoke on the Water. Bandets ordinarie sångare Jan Gillian hade passande nog stannat hemma på hotellrummet. A good friend of the band's here runs uh, Microsoft, and it was his idea to do it. And he dreamed it up with the head of the school, and we said, "Yeah, we'd love to do it." And uh, here we are. What a what a great experience, actually. Uh, I didn't expect anything like this. I thought it'd be people asking, you know, questions, and you don't don't know what to say. But it we just flowed, and we played, and it was great. I think you, what you see is uh, kids with a, with a wonderful environment, so if they have the talent and they have the love to do this, they've got a great place to do it in, something that we didn't have, you know. So if you've got kids out there who've got the talent, uh, it's going to come through and be very obvious very early. And you saw with those two guys who got up on stage and just worked it out between them, how they were going to approach it, that was very professional. Most youngsters don't do that. They just go on and they just think me, 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 me. But they worked as a team. They had a lot of courage to get up there and do it. They're very impressive, you know. And that's if they're just a sample of what they've got in the way of talent here. You're a very lucky country. And so stood man up here, plötsligt så, och så bara ser man en pace bara kolla på en liksom så, ah, kom igen nu liksom. Man bara, okay då. Och så är så jävla nervös. Men alltså, Deep Purple var ju stora på början av 70-talet och var ju inte ens födda. Nej. Är inte det här gammal tråkig gubbrock bara? Nej, Legen- legendarisk rock. Ja. Legend- det här är legenderna av legender. Alltså, de är legender, vad ska man säga? De är, de är legendernas legender. Ja, de är... legendernas legend, precis. Actually, I didn't expect it to be quite so many people. It was actually it was more like a, a rock gig. Um, when I'm home, you know, my, where my kids went to school, I, I go to the school sometimes and I give talks, illustrated talks. I take a bass, take some records, and I tell them really about the history of music, because I think it's important to to understand where music comes from. You know, kids aren't really interested. They're interested in what's now, what's new, what's fresh. But once they get beyond that, and they start getting back and looking back, so, so one of the things I do is, is uh, in my own things, is talk a little bit about the history of stuff. But there was not really, uh, you know, time to do that here. It was, but it was good. It was loose. It was informative, and it was fun. Oh, 